Praise the Lord. <sighs> My weekly jaunt to the train station and to the Cairo. How you doing? That's security. I work through every day and I see the same security personnel. I'm going to take a quick break. I got time. Yeah, I was talking, speaking with my son. He's like, Dad, every time I ask you for something, he's just like, you know what I need. And I ask you, you never say no. You'll say how much and Western Union or MoneyGram or Wally World. And so I was telling him that, you know, as a, as a man, you have to be responsible, you know. A lot of these young boys, prey on these young girls' uh, affections and feelings, and they're not working. They're not doing anything with their lives. Not all of them, but a lot of certain ones. I'm certain of this. And uh, you have to be responsible. It's called kingdom. And he went on to say, Dad, but who, who supports you? Who takes care of you? And I told him, the good Lord. And he said, but what about when you don't have or you in need? I was with Junior, I just go without. And he was like, hmm. So I left home at 17, I'm 52 now, and I was talking to a dear friend this morning about a support system, and it was beautiful to hear, hey, I, I got you, uh, Dave, I got you, TD. Uh, I'll be your support system, but you know, when you've been through what I've been through, and, and I'm, I'm not the only one, when you know that you can depend on God, when you know that if you ask somebody for something, they can give you an excuse or a lie, you know it's been time to depend on God. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. And then the songwriter says, lean on me. But I, I prefer and I uh, differ <laughs> to depend on God himself. So, uh, Junior, I got you. Anything you need, I'm going to go without to make sure you have it. Because your granddad, uh, my papa did the same thing for his entire family. My dad would go without lunch. He would go without shoes. He would go without a heavy coat. He would go without in order for his family to continue on. You know, we were raised that a woman, a, a girl, a sister needs more than a man does. So we have to learn how to put an extra hole in your belt and tighten up and be frugal and prudent, not just cheap as I leave this alone. So it's hard. I, I left home at 17 and I've always had a support system of the most high God. I've never had to depend on anyone. And, um, I have no problem in asking. I guess it may be a pride factor, but I'm okay, you know, and if I'm without, I'm without. If I'm in need, I'm in need as I leave this alone. Let you guys see the uh, tour boat pants. So, yes, I'm sitting here taking me a, a quick, uh, I'm not tired. I'm just, I have time to catch the train and then an hour and a half to get to my Cairo appointment then to sit there for an hour to be seen for 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll be on my way, but we all need a support system, but there are times when you won't have one, but that's one that you always have present. You just have to tap into, and that's the support system of God. I'm not on life support of the world. I'm not on uh, death row of the world. That's the train you guys hear. I'm on life support of God. Let you see the train. water taxes so let me get going god bless you god keep you you have a great support system and family and friends god bless you for having it if you need an, uh, a supernatural spiritual ultimate support system he's the most high god peace depend on him. one